Huntington Beach High School is home to the Academy of Performing Arts, where teens hone their skills in countless rehearsals. One of those teens is Taylor Cox. Her musical talent is undeniable. Her friends love her. Her teachers do too. It's not just that she's a great student and she comes prepared, but she's also um, awesome to be around. She's a lot of fun. She's got a lot of fans here in the program, and we are so lucky to have Taylor. Talent. Tenacity. Just two words that describe this ordinary teenager who lives with extraordinary circumstances. Taylor was born without eyes. She was born and there were a couple things that looked a little different, but we didn't totally understand it until Mike um, took her back. Right after that, a doctor came in and she looked at me, she looked at Taylor and she looked at me and she said, your daughter's blind, like that fast. I was amazed, it was actually like a 30 second assessment and I'm like, wow. And I shared that with Kim and it was just really uh, a gut punch, you know, at that time to hear something about your child, your baby, you know, and that just started us off on a, a journey that we're at now. And what a journey it's been. Taylor received prosthetic eyes at 14 months old, and she's had the constant support of her family throughout her 16 years. And we like to make each other laugh, and we just are trying, we just support each other as much as we can. So I go to my sister's softball games, and she goes to my um, music stuff, and then my mom and dad are awesome and they go to both, so it's it's pretty, it's an awesome family to be a part of. The best thing about growing up with Taylor was that she was always my best friend. She's super funny and charismatic and outgoing and she's pretty sassy. I've got a brown eye lover on the other side. One of the ways Taylor expresses that vivacious personality is through her musical abilities. The APA program lets her shine on stage and build friendships. It means growth as a person. It means friends. It means I get to do what I love in school, which is great for me. And I get to fit in with a group that has the same interests as me. What I'm going to show you today is it can read a, pro a barcode on a product so that um, you know what it is. Yeah. The Braille Institute in Anaheim is another place where Taylor's made close friends. Hello, Brennan. He's going to be telling us about... <laughs> My skin is orange. <laughs> <laughs> it's been an invaluable resource for the Cox family. Beautifully done. Amidst her busy schedule, Taylor also finds time to compose her own music. It can be challenging, but once it's finally finished, it's worth all the hard work. Something was wrong when mom walked in the door. So you kind of get that happiness where you get that like feeling of, oh my gosh, I'm like making this work right now. Like this is good. This is gonna be a really pretty song. And then you, you see the masterpiece that you created and it's like joy. Taylor has a big heart. She shares her love of music with memory care residents who enjoy every minute of her performance. They just start singing along, and then other times it's more subtle, but you can hear them, if they really like something, you can hear them tapping their feet and clapping their hands and just really moving to the music. Thank you, that was one I wrote myself, so I'm glad you liked it. You and I will work together. Working together. Working. Wherever she goes, Taylor is a bright light. We can all learn something from her positive attitude and zest for life. Taylor, in the blind community, she's been on the back of Harley Davidson. She met Stevie Wonder. <laughs> she's like, I mean, yeah. she's done a lot of really fun things because she always says yes to anything. She's even said yes to being a guest speaker for companies that create breakthrough technologies for the blind. Taylor, your future is filled with possibilities. Our mantra in this house is we walk by faith, not by sight. And 
even though we understand that internally, we have a child who is living it physically. And it's really awesome to be able to see that happening in life and know that that's exactly where we stand. She wants to go to college. We know a lot of blind people that live independent. And I think Taylor, one of the things she's expressed is she would like to be married and have children. So, yeah. you know, and it's kind of- We'll be grandparents, yay. Yeah. <laughs> so whatever she wants to do, we back her. And yeah. uh, I know she's done everything she's wanted to do so far. So I have no doubt she'll accomplish whatever she sets her, her sights on.